The packages are small. They can fit inside any neighborhood mailbox, but the street value could be enormous, more than $150,000 if this was real cocaine. Drug trafficking is inherently a dangerous activity, and it gets even more dangerous for the people who are involved in it and the people who are in the community who are subjected to it. U.S. Attorney John Horn says the 16 mail carriers accused of accepting bribes and running what they thought was kilos worth of cocaine through Atlanta put everyone they served in danger. It was a sting operation. The FBI planted a fake drug dealer to see how many mail carriers would get in on the scheme. The accused came from five different post offices across Atlanta and would use real addresses on their routes for the drug dealer to send the packages, where the drug dealer would then intercept them. The FBI wouldn't say how much the mail carriers were paid. And for a simple few extra bucks in their pockets, they were willing to not only bring dangerous drugs, what they believed to be dangerous drugs, into our community, but they also jeopardized the safety of their co-workers and the residents that they serve. All 16 of the mail carriers are now out on bond. The FBI says the investigation will continue.